Hello, this is Pastor Mark Taylor. Today I'd like to speak to you about a very important thing that the Lord spoke to his disciples and the people that he met about, and that was how to deal with stress. Uh, one of the sayings that uh, I've heard before is that I'm too blessed to be stressed. And you know, the Lord wants you to understand how blessed you are. And he spoke to to his disciples in, in a multitude one time, and we call that the Beatitudes, and he gave some things for them to think about. And one of those was in Matthew 5, 3. He said, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is a kingdom of heaven. God uh, wanted his people to understand that even though you're, you're poor in your financial life or in your resources, or even if you're poor and you're the way you view things and, and, and uh, you feel like you're, you've had a rough life or a disappointing life, that that's when you really need to come to the Lord. Because the kingdom of heaven is not only the future that we have to look forward to as Christians, but it is also uh, the ability to live this life with blessings from heaven. You may feel unworthy to to come to the Lord and to, to seek Him and ask Him, but that's what, what He wants you to do. That's, that's the, the, the message for today is that He will take your little, whatever it is, your, your, your little self-worth, your little ability, and He will use it to bring you peace and love and joy and a life uh, free of stress. Jesus said this in the scriptures, the spirit of the Lord, God, the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those that are bound. The Lord wants you to know that uh, he's here to help you if you have a broken heart or if you have a broken spirit or if you are in some way uh, in a prison of, of your mind, of things that's happened in your past, maybe abuse, maybe uh, uh, words that, that discouraged you and you felt like you were never going to be able to accomplish things, uh, maybe you never were encouraged to, in your life by uh, a positive parent, the Lord wants you to know that He's come to, to release you from that prison and set the captives free. Our stress comes from our reactions to other people. It's not what uh, people do to you that causes you stress. It is the way that you respond to people. And uh, the Lord wants you to know that uh, most of the things in life you have no control over. Uh, you don't have control over other people's attitudes, their actions. And the only thing you really have control over is the way you respond to those uh, uh, things that people say to you. Uh, Eleanor Roosevelt, the, president, the president's wife, said one time, nobody can hurt you without your permission. Now the Lord wants you to know that He wants you to be able to begin to deal with the stress that's in your life. He wants you to begin to, to, to uh, first of all, recognize that it is not something that you have to have and have to live with. Realize that you have a problem and that you need to get some help. The best counseling you can get is from God's Word. Read the New Testament. Read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and the Lord will begin to teach you how to, to deal with stress issues in your life. Also, that you have the resources of pastors and Christian uh, people that God has worked with for years. Go to them about their stress issues and ask uh, them to give you some strategies to use to overcome the stress. The stress in our lives can cause us physical problems as well as uh, being discouraged. Most doctors will tell you that uh, much of heart problems and other medical issues, uh, the, the, the beginning of that is people that live under a lot of stress. 
It causes your heart to work harder. It causes other organs in your body to, to respond differently. And the Lord has given you the resource from heaven, and that is the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, cast your cares upon me, for I care for you. The Lord wants you to understand that uh, stress is, is something that uh, will destroy you if you continue to let it attack you. Now, one of the ways to overcome stress is to begin to, to uh, not let people affect you so seriously. Quit worrying about what other people think about you. Quit worrying about what other people are doing. Uh, like I said, you have no control over other people. You can't fix anyone else except yourself. And, and I would encourage you to begin to uh, remind yourself that uh, the only person you're responsible for is you. And you need to be the one that, that works on you. And other people uh, will just have to deal with their issues. And it's not your fault that they're messed up or that they've made wrong choices. And it's not your responsibility to solve their problems or fix them. If you try to live that st style of life, you're gonna find that you're, you're gonna have a life of stress. So I encourage you today to begin to quit uh, trying to uh, respond to everybody else's problems. Uh, if you know how to give them uh, advice, financial advice, or you know how to give them marital advice, uh, give it to them if they ask for it. But understand this, most people are not going to change their lives until they're ready. And uh, you, you, you've got to release your children, you've got to release your grandchildren, you've got to release your friends to the Lord and, and pray for them that God will work things out for them. But do not take upon yourself the personal responsibility that what's going on in their life is in any way your fault. Second of all, in dealing with stress, begin to, to reduce the stressors in your life. Sometimes we have uh, things around us that cause us stress. And different people respond to different things in different ways. And one of those things is uh, noise, aggravation, uh, uh, too much uh, clutter, uh, too busy of a schedule. All these things can be stressors in your life that you do have control over and you can start reducing them. Learn to take a walk in a quiet place. Uh, learn to sit in a quiet place from time to time and read your Bible and pray and think. And you'll find that uh, that stress level will begin to go down. Begin to uh, remove yourself from people who are always stressed. And you'll find out that that eventually your stress level will begin to come down. Well, I hope today you will begin to start this life of, uh, of uh, being stress-free uh, and, and, and take this motto on that I'm too blessed to be stressed and understand what Jesus said when he says, blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Uh, you are special to God. And, you're, you're, and, and He wants those of you that have that humble spirit to realize that He's on your side and He is going to take care of you. May God bless you today, and, and I look forward to talking to you again in the near future.